going on, everybody? It's Ryan Tui here, and I'm coming to you from my hometown of Stony Point, New York, in Rockford County, in the United States of America. And a fly just flew into my eye. I've lived in Stony Point, New York for the past 18 years. I moved here in the summer of 2002, and they've been the best 18 years that I could have ever imagined. Jacob, I'm directing this video specifically at you because you inspired me with your Lithuania video and your villainous video. You know, you took us around your home cities, and it really just inspired me. And since I'm not traveling right now, I decided why not travel around my hometown and explore the unknowns around here. There's a lot of amazing places to see around here. It's got amazing wildlife, nature, and just sights in general. And there's a lot of beauty here that I don't think people take advantage of. So I'm gonna take all of you along with me on this wonderful journey. So without further ado, let's visit Stony Point, New York in Rockland County. Now, how do I get down here? <laughs> If you're not too familiar with the U.S. geographically, New York is located in the northeast region of the country. Not far from the hustle and bustle of New York City is Stony Point, which is one of five towns that makes up Rockland County. The other four are Ramapo, Clarkstown, Orangetown, and Haverstraw, with Stony Point being the most rural of them all, and in my opinion, the most beautiful as well. This is awesome. This is one place I've always wanted to see up close. I've never been up close before here in my entire life. To have a great view of this waterfall. Oh my god, this is absolutely gorgeous. These areas are just so nice and the fact that you have little to no cars coming along these streets and you get this wide open space, it's a really good place to clear your mind. And I really think people ought to take advantage of places like this. If you're in your hometown and you find an area like this, believe me, come here every once in a while, just contemplate. You know, don't come with anything, you know, don't come with your phone, don't get distracted, really. Just soak up the peace and, uh, and beauty around you because it's really worth it, trust me. The simplicity, peace, and beauty of Stony Point is very comforting. The town holds so many memories for me in so many places. I feel a connection in most spots I see around my town and can look back with a smile, reminiscing about the good times I had growing up here.
during the summertime, it gets really active down in this area, and a lot of people go out on the Hudson River in boats such as these, kayaks, sailboats, and go jet skiing. It's really great down here, and I really wish I had taken advantage of it a lot more over my years of growing up here. You just get lost in your thoughts when you're down in this area. It's a great way to blow off steam and enjoy the summer to the fullest. If there's one thing Stony Point prides itself in, it's being historic. The town consists of monuments and tributes recognizing town residents who've served America during wars. Okay, so right now I am on my way to the Stony Point Battlefield, which is one of the most visited attractions here in Stony Point. And it's the site of the Battle of Stony Point during the American Revolutionary War in 1779, which is, which is 331 years ago. I actually took a class trip up here when I was in fourth grade, so this place has some memories in my art. And uh, it's a pretty cool site, and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys along with me. The Battle of Stony Point took place on July 16, 1779 to be exact. It was a carefully executed attack on British troops by some of General George Washington's highly trained Continental Army troops. In the prelude to the battle, the British had been struggling to come up with effective strategies to combat Washington's army for the past two years. It had been ongoing since their army officer, John Burgoyne, had surrendered at the battles of Saratoga in 1777. To change their fortunes, Lieutenant General Sir George Henry Clinton stationed his army's outpost at Stony Point as part of his plan to weaken a part of Washington's army, which was stationed in northern New Jersey. It was also intended to preserve the main British garrison in New York City and prevent Washington down the Hudson River. The British had overthrown a small American Patriot army to occupy the land, but on July 16th, that land was lost. The Continental Army, led by Brigadier General Anthony Wayne, consisted of nearly 1,350 troops, while the British Army, led by General William Howe, had about 700 troops. The assault began at midnight. The weather wasn't good which favored the Continentals because there was no moonlight and winds made British ships in Havistraw Bay leave their posts. Wayne's column was able to get through the Brits' first line of defenses, but Wayne himself was wounded. That didn't stop him or his columns, though. The British's artillery pieces they had for defense were no match for the Continental Army. In the end, the Americans had 550 prisoners in their hands with less than 100 casualties. A decisive victory if there ever was one. Right here is the Battlefield Museum. The Stony Point Battlefield is a National Historic Landmark, and it's been operating for well over a century, dating back to 1902. The area is very calm, which is kind of ironic considering it is a place where warfare broke out. But nonetheless, it's a nice site that's well preserved, clean, and has beautiful views surrounding the area. So the views around my town and around this place just get prettier and prettier. 
it's absolutely amazing. I know I'm not going to live here forever, but man, this town has matured me into a good man, let me tell you. And nowadays, I think we all tend to appreciate simplicity a lot more in this fast-moving world. And I can appreciate the simple life of Stony Point, New York, and the views and what it has. It just, it inspires me. It's awe-inspiring. I can't get enough of it. I'm really going to miss living here uh, whenever that time comes, whenever I uh, move out and venture on my own and start whatever life has ahead of me. So, I love this town. I'm always going to love it. It's always going to have a place in my heart. The most recognizable feature of the battlefield, however, is the Stony Point Lighthouse, which sits atop a mountain overlooking the Hudson River. In fact, it is the oldest lighthouse on the Hudson. It is an octagonal pyramid and is entirely made of stone. In 1979, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places, which is the United States federal government's list of districts, sites, buildings, and so on, that is deservedly worth preservation due to its historical importance. So this is all from the colonial era? All this stuff. Well, uh, it's pretty cool to see all this stuff. And the cannon, you gotta remember that, uh, that all this stuff, it's just causing human casualties. And like you said, Jacob, this stuff does nothing but cause destruction and suffering. And um, it's a shame that uh, war has been going on for centuries now and um, I wish people would you know not resort to war as a ways of uh, finding a resolution to any conflict you know there's always a way to solve anything without fighting or violence Well, that's going to do it for me. I hope you all enjoyed my video. And yeah, this was Stony Point, New York. It's not New York City, but believe me, it's got great nature, great historical places to visit. And it's just very peaceful, very calm, and I've been very fortunate to have grown up here. It's made me into a good person, and I'm always going to cherish it. Jacob, I want to thank you for inspiring me to make this video. And, to, and I also want to thank you know everybody who watched this video from start to finish, and for anybody who clicked on it. It really means the world to me. You know, if you want, subscribe to my channel and uh, shoot a comment down in the comment section down below. And yeah, take care and see you next time. Bloopers. summer gets really active down here and a lot of